Hey, thanks for joining me for this video. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're gonna tell you the best camera settings for food photography to make outstanding images. Let's go. I'm Wes, this is my channel, Wes Greasel Photo. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. If you're new, welcome. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. Thanks for joining me, I really appreciate you. I enjoy making videos on this channel and I hope you find them helpful, relevant, and encouraging. They're mostly about my journey with filmmaking and photography. I use the Canon EOS R, so a lot of my uh, videos are about that, but I do drones and other things and GoPro action cameras. Um, Insta360 is uh, a, a great underrated camera, so look for more content about that. But today, we're gonna talk to you about a message that somebody wrote me on social media and they said, hey, I'm doing my first food photography gig. What should my camera settings be? And so I thought that was a great question, but my first two responses were actually not about the camera settings. So number one, if you're doing food photography, what you wanna do is move the food to the best available natural light. That's step number one. So if you're in a restaurant, you wanna to move to that window, get some natural light coming in. But this is really limited, and this is why my top tip is actually not my top tip. If you don't have an off-camera flash, then you're kind of stuck. But what I want you to do is top tip number two, which should be top tip number one, is get an off-camera flash, get a strobe, get a trigger, and start to create your own magical, amazing light. All right, so here's how I'd recommend you do it. You have your trigger on your camera, you have your off-camera flash, but then you can move that flash around in different orientations with the food directly overhead. Behind, so shooting into the camera lens, you can have that source of light coming in. I'm gonna show you some samples of that. You can have it left or right oriented. You have a lot of control about where to put that light. Versus when you're in a restaurant with, let's say one window, you, you have to orient the food next to that window. And so it's really limited. And let's say it's overcast, let's say there are no windows, you're really stuck. So bring light into the situation. All right, and now the camera settings. The question was, I'm on my way to my first food photography gig, what should my camera settings be? So I would recommend starting at F4. And the reason is F4 gives you, most uh, food photography is, takes place on a plate. It's eight to 10 inches. It's kind of that scope. And so F4 gives you some depth of field to play with, but it's not too narrow. Like for example, if I'm shooting on the 35 RF lens has a 1.8 capability, then that's a really precise, really narrow depth of field. And so I can often take a shot that I think is crisp, but then I've actually misplaced the focal point off. It's off by a little bit and it doesn't draw attention to the right thing on the plate. So I'd start out with F4. And that's kind of a tip I've learned from talking to other food photographers on Instagram and asking them how they achieve certain looks. So reach out to people. If you see shots you like on social media, ask people how they did that. So I'd start with F4 and then I always hit ISO 100. So I, I stick to that. And then the only other factor you have is your shutter speed. Now granted, food shouldn't be moving. Uh, sometimes it is if you're doing cocktail photography and there's some pouring. So the food should um, typically be stable, steady, not moving. So you, you have a lot of leeway with your shutter speed if you need to leave it open or, or whatever. But that's my recommendation. Start at F4, ISO 100, play with your shutter speed to get the uh, look you want. And those are my recommended camera settings for excellent food photography. I really hope you enjoy the content. I enjoy making it and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to learning more and I hope you enjoyed the samples of the food photography that I shared with you today. I would love to see samples of yours. Follow me on Instagram at West Creasel Photo and share with me some of the posts you're doing with food photography. I'd love to check that out. Hi, I'm Wes. My name is Wes, I'm wearing a name tag because my shirt is sponsored, but I'm not sponsored by the person who made the shirt. Welcome, welcome everybody. I could do a channel trailer. Get crazy. Hey, yo, what's up everybody? Seriously though, I've been in need of a channel trailer for a while and I just want you to know from the bottom of my heart, one of the things I say in every video is you're a beautiful person, you're a good person. I really believe that. 
And so if you believe that too, stick around. And if you don't, stick around and maybe me saying it will rub off on you and you'll start to believe you're a beautiful person and a good person. And let's learn together. 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 Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, that might be the saying, that might be the channel saying that I put in the saying in the channel trailer. Oh yeah, appreciate it if you would subscribe click the bell to get notifications and then some other stuff uh stay tuned like the video share it. please leave comments leave those comments those are the best i love to read those uh, when i can't sleep at night when i get up in the morning i check my youtube comments i love asking people what kind of photos they like to take and all sorts of stuff i love to learn from people all around uh the globe youtube's an amazing place it's really it's an international space station that made no sense all right Good job, people.